Hi guys, my name is Dan Wellman. Welcome to the first lesson of the Build a Simple Photo App with Knockout JS course. In this course, we'll take a look at all of Knockout JS's basic features, and in order to fully expose the benefits of the framework and its capabilities, we'll build a simple application which will highlight common techniques that are used with it. Knockout JS is a simple and powerful client side JavaScript framework used to create complex user interfaces. In order to make building complex UIs as painless as possible and allow us to keep our code as maintainable as possible, Knockout is built on several core concepts, which are declarative bindings. Using a simple binding system, we can easily link different parts of our UI to the data used by the application. Automatic syncing. Two-way mappings between our data and our interface keep the two in sync. When a model's value changes, the bit of the UI that is mapped to it is updated automatically. When the UI changes, Following user interaction, for example, the corresponding value of the model it is bound to is updated. Templating support. Why add repeated blocks of HTML manually? We can write a template once and use it to generate as many blocks of markup as we need. Knockout has a built-in templating system that allows us to define a snippet of markup, complete with bindings, which can be rendered to the page as many times as necessary. We can also make use of a third-party templating system if required. Knockout JS is based on the popular and effective MVVM architectural pattern in which we create our application in three distinct sections, models, view models, and views. Models are the stored data for our application. In the case of the demo app that we'll be building in this course, an individual model will hold the data for an individual photo. The view model is a pure code representation of the state of the data and behavior associated with our application. Views are the visual representation of our view model and are built from HTML, which the user of our application interacts with. We'll look at each of these things in more detail throughout the course, as well as uncovering the rest of the framework's API. Knockout JS is a pure JavaScript framework, so no other libraries or frameworks are required to use it, but it works very well with jQuery, so we'll also be using this. Let's set up our development area ready to start coding in the next lesson. First of all, we can create a directory somewhere convenient. I'll put mine on the desktop. And we'll call this one photo app. This will be the root project folder. Inside this, we can create two new folders. So we'll have one called JS and another one called CSS. So now we can download Knockout JS and jQuery. So let's get Knockout first. The latest version, as you can see, is 2.3.0. And we'll grab a copy of jQuery as well. The latest version of jQuery is 2.0.3. OK. So we'll just create a couple more new files. So we'll need a script file for the logic for our application to go into. So we'll add that in the JS folder and we'll just call it photoapp.js. And we'll also want a HTML page. So we'll add one of those as well. And we'll call this photoapp.html. So we'll just make a couple of changes in this file. Uh, I never use the XML namespace attribute, so we'll change that to lang, and we'll set that to en. Uh, we can add a title as well. And we can also add the meta tag. We should also link to the script files that we'll be using. So we'll link to jQuery first of all. And then we can link to Knockout. And lastly, we can link to our own script file. So we're ready to start coding in the next lesson. Let's wrap it up for today. 
Join me next time in which we'll create the wrapper for our application. Thanks for watching.